Hey guys, welcome to Pizza Reviews. Uh, this is kind of the video first uh, initial uh, look at the Humidigi A7 Pro. So once we got out of the box here, I didn't set up Google, just turn the phone on. So it's, uh, or here, let's turn the phone on, get it going here for us. Let's see what we got here. While we do that, so I guess it has a screen protector built in or installed on the phone. We'll just, uh, Get rid of this little tab at the bottom, so that can see how it's still going, it's still turning on. Get rid of that guy, and there's a um, screen protector built on it. Let's see here, let's get rid of the front uh, front panel. Ah, that's nice, right there. Okay. That's the screen. That's the uh, factory uh, screen protector on there still, which is kind of nice. It's uh, placed pretty good. Um, it, there's some on the edges there. It's not sticking all the way, but uh, saying something here. Um, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, anyway, it's a hundred dollar device, so can't really expect too much. The screen is nice and bright on it. Uh, let's see what we got here. So we got the Google. The duo, it's got the Gmail, a couple of the Google apps, the assistant, the Play Store, uh, the contacts, the clock, the phone, the settings, sound recorder, calendar, wireless, this is wireless, emergency alerts, I guess, FM radio, which I would assume that has to have the headphones plugged in as a antenna, SIM toolkit, and a calculator. Uh, so let's go in the settings here and see what we got. Uh, so we got Network internet, connected devices, app notifications, battery display, sound storage. Uh, so it's 56 gigabytes free uh, in this version. Uh, so it comes with 12% used. Uh, location, security, for that, I guess the fingerprint reader, there's uh, accounts, accessibility, face unlock, that's kind of cool. Yes, you can do that. Google Dura Speed. Uh, Dura Speed was uh, available in the other one as well. Uh, let's go about phone, see what this has on it. So it's the A7 Pro. Uh, it's got 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gig storage. And uh, looks like it has the first version of the um, of the software on it. Um, it's got Android 10 on it, which is kind of nice to see. What else do we have here? Uh, let's go back in the home and see what it comes with here. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see how the camera does here. So it's got the regular camera. Let's see in the settings here. Uh, there's a scene mode, anti shake, picture pass, cell timer, shutter, watermark, ZSD, whatever that is, a white balance size, so anti flicker. I don't believe this has the um, optical image stabilization, so the anti shake might not work too good. At the bottom, we have the video. Well, it's got slow motion. Kind of cool, play around with the portrait mode. Uh, I guess that's like a effect. We'll post more pictures later. We'll do a camera comparison with a couple other phones here. Uh, so it has the wide angle camera as well. Oh, there you go, there it goes. And actually switching between the camera modes is not too bad on this one. The other one, I know some people had some issues with the, with the switching the camera modes. It's doing funny things, but they've uh, they cleaned that up and there's the macro. Let's see here, let's do the same same card with the macro camera. Um, you know what, not too bad. Um, yeah, doesn't look like it's pretty bad. The colors seem to be pretty good on it. So um, yeah, we'll post, I'll do a review of the cameras on this guy, I'll compare it to a couple other phones and see how well it does. Anyway, thanks guys for watching the video. If you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks again.